Yes, guys, so that's the Bank of Guyana building here at Republic Avenue, Main Street and Church Street. And like I was saying, the Bank of Guyana is responsible in Guyana for defending the Guyana dollar. That is, the Bank of Guyana keeps track of all of the vital statistics of the country. And the Bank of Guyana, for example, tells you or tells us the value of the National Resource Fund, how much money is paid to the government of Guyana for each uh, quarter or each month from oil revenue, that is from ExxonMobil, the consortium. And the Bank of Guyana releases those US dollars to the Guyana economy or basically the money gets paid into a an account at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York but it would require the Bank of Guyana to access that account right so the Bank of Guyana is the central bank of Guyana the central bank is responsible for regulating the economy just like the Federal Reserve Bank in New York the only difference of course is that the Federal Reserve Bank is private, the Bank of Guyana is owned by the people of Guyana, the government of Guyana. So the question is, how does money work? How does money work in Guyana? Well, the way it works is that money itself has no value. Money is just a ledger, it's like an accounting record. Remember when we were kids, I used to live at, at a village on the quarantine called Firish. I grew up in Firish Village, Firish Road, quarantine, Burbies. And when we were kids, our parents would send us to the shop to buy groceries. And if you didn't have money, the shopkeeper would take out a little notebook and write down all the things that you were getting on credit. So at the end of the week when you get paid, you would go to the shop market, you would go to the stop shop and he would tell you how much money you needed to pay, how much credit you had racked up. We call it trust. And the thing is that this is how money works. Money doesn't really have value outside of, outside of the commodities that is used to purchase. And so that's exactly how it works globally and as well as locally and in, in, in governments, between governments. So what we have is a ledger balance at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York that says this much amount of oil has been sold and this much is what you get in exchange for that oil. So money is a means of exchange. The Bank of Guyana keeps track of that record, just like how the shopkeeper would keep track of the goods that you bought at the, at the shop during the week and tell you how much you owe at the end of the week when you get paid, the Bank of Guyana keeps that record. So what happens is that the Bank of Guyana should keep track of how much money Guyana, that is in all currencies, whether it be US dollars in the Federal Reserve Bank of New York or Guyana dollars in the various banks, local banks or and in treasury, and so on but the the bank of guyana keeps that record keeps that ledger and the way money works is the bank of guyana will say let's release this amount of money into the economy if money becomes scarce let's say us dollars are scarce because companies can't find us dollars to make purchases the bank of guyana will release us dollars into the commercial banks so like the um, Citizens Bank and Demerara Bank and Republic Bank and GBTI and Scotia Bank the Bank of Guyana will release our uh, from our reserves of, of US dollars into those banks so that local um, businesses can get money to buy um, foreign products what the Bank of Ghana has been doing, however, is not allow, not defending the Ghana dollar, not ensuring that that money goes into 
US, uh, sorry, Guyanese companies. The way the, the way the US has been funding US companies is by buying up bonds, putting US dollars into the bond market so that US companies can borrow that money. However, in Guyana, the Bank of Guyana has been indiscriminately putting US dollars into the commercial banks so that anybody, whether it be a um, massive group of companies from Trinidad or some other foreign company, they can go and exchange their Trinidadian dollars for the bulk of Guyana dollars, uh, the bulk of US dollars that are released into the commercial banks. In that way, Guyanese companies are still unable to get access to US dollars. So the Bank of Guyana has not been regulating access to US dollars for Guyanese companies, but has been indiscriminately putting that money into the commercial banks. And that money has been bought up by foreign companies, especially Trinidad companies, as I explained in a previous video. How do I know this? Because I personally went to the bank to try and buy US dollars, and I was told that US dollars were not available, right? So this is how it works. The Bank of Guyana is supposed to defend the Guyana dollar and defend the currency markets in Guyana, but it has not been doing that efficiently, and that is why money is scarce. That is also why the Guyana dollar has not been rising in value. So if there is one thing that can be done to ensure that the value of the Guyana dollar rises, especially since the inflation rate continues to rise, it would be that the Bank of Guyana must intervene to defend the Guyana dollar and to cause the currency to rise. And I explained that in a previous video. Anyway, guys, this is how money works. I'm going to explain in a future video how infrastructure, again, I started explaining that in a previous video, explaining how you build uh, bridges, for example, how you borrow money to build bridges. Because like I said, money itself doesn't have a value. Money is simply a ledger balance. It's a way to keep track, to keep a record of things that are being done in the economy, commodities that are being purchased, you know, um, infrastructure that's being built. Money is a way to keep track of that. And the Bank of Ghana is our um, institution that does the tracking and does the releasing of foreign currency. I will explain in future videos why, for example, the government of Guyana should borrow money to build infrastructure and why they should put toll bridges and toll tunnels, toll infrastructure, why they should use tolls to recoup the cost and maintain the infrastructure instead of making it free. But I'll explain that in, a, in the next video. For now, this is where we are at the corner of Republic Avenue in front of the Bank of Ghana building, Church Street, Main Street, and the National Library. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening in the fastest growing economy in the world, Guyana. Later!